Well, hello and welcome back again. So a while ago, I did a little room tour video and I had a lot of fun showing you nerds how I go about my creative spaces and where I create things and where I record my videos and kind of an insight of how much of a nerd I am. And I really enjoy doing that video. And since then, I've done this thing called being an adult and I've actually gotten rid of stuff and made more constructive spaces. And because I've made a breakthrough and actually gotten my room to the point that it's a better way to work and create and do stuff with it not being so cluttered, I was able to kind of make it more livable, which, wow, I can't believe that happened. That's something that I feel I should have an award for, but, uh, you know, we'll save that for actual groundbreaking stuff like science and find the god particle and whatever else, but this is a close second. Now that I've made a breakthrough and done something to my room, having such hard work done, now I have to work on my actual life. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. But my nerds, how this video is going to go is that it's gonna be kind of dark in here because I have limited light, so we're gonna be doing the best that I can do with whatever lamps I have that be the equivalence of a CinemaSins video. Anyway, I hope you nerds enjoy the new look of my room. And because I need someone else to enjoy what I've done with my room besides me. We're going to start this whole video as always as it should be at the entrance because that's how these things work, you know. This is probably something that I've been most accomplished with. This is, is you know, right when you walk in the room, right when you leave the room, there's got to be things that are accessible and ready. And that for me is, is having my keys, my shoes, and then having my accessorized stuff. And to have this change so much from the last time when it was so cluttered, that I can have an area that as I'm leaving, I can grab what I want to accessorize with, and then grab my keys, and then have my shoes, which are actually together and matching because, you know, breakthroughs and accomplishments. This is a weird feeling for me, but we're going to go with it for right now. So I feel like I've kind of bettered myself as an adult with my trinkets and my material stuff, especially when it comes to things that I accessorize with more on hand and kind of more put together about what I really use. This is going to sound really dumb and stupid, but for a strange reason, I love the fact that my shoes are matching by the door and I actually have shoes that I will want to wear that are the ones that I wear a lot of instead of having to go to my closet and just wonder, well, I might have a matching pair, I might not have a matching pair. It's already done for me, so I can be able to have this done. However, as everyone has a moment in their life where something weird happens to them and they can't explain it, but I'll explain it to you guys because maybe you can relate, and if not, then maybe I just have prob more problems. My left shoe specifically will disappear under my bed and I don't even know how the hell it goes from point A to somehow into point B and then I have my own Cinderella moment. I now relate with this woman. I never thought I had to. And then over here we have, you know, the closet. Uh, we've been in here before. It's still a mess like it was the last time so we're not going to go in there. The only thing that does happen is that, you know, I do look at myself in this fancy mirror over here and assess if I am fabulous enough to leave the house and have my whole Grinch thing where he's like, ooh, ah, and then wonder if it's uh, good enough to leave the house and then, you know, I end up do going out, but then I end up coming back. But at least I know I had that one moment of checking myself to know if I was fashionably ready for the world. And sometimes the world is ready and sometimes I'm not ready for the world. So, you know, those things happen. <laughs> this is of course familiar in many of my YouTube videos because this is primarily where I film and record because it's my favorite YouTube corners because it has a little bit of me in every single little cubby. So I'm going to do a whole redux and go through it again. Here we go. And we got the movie cubby over here with the peeps hanging up and everything. People know I do some writing, so I write down my creativity for the stories that I create, and then who knows, maybe be a national bestseller, or at least I like to think that. And this is a new thing over here is my electronic cubby, which I have all of my camera work and my Polaroid stuff together, so I can kind of have that all in one box, which is great. It's kind of more accessible. And then down here, it is the electronic cubby in case I need something or want to play them video games that you know those crazy kids call it. Over here is the manga cubby of anything that I have to currently read 
or things that are my favorites to read. You know, it's always kind of cool. This is the craft cubby because I do a lot of crafting and creating, so now I have a whole thing that's ready. This is actually kind of a piece of history because this was made for me a while ago because it has my name on it. So whoever gets lost, it's got my name on it. Down here is something kind of interesting I've done right here, and that's like uh, current stuff. This here is the scrapbook cubby because I'm one of those people that likes to scrapbook. This over here is an interesting cubby. This is actually stuff that I use to inspire myself for my stories. So these two things are created. That helps with that. And then right here, this is the cosplay cubby, which has some things that I will be working on at some point, but that day is not today. One really weird thing to say, uh, I am both liked and hated for having this television. I am liked in the sense that it's a nostalgic thing, which is great, but I'm also hated because it's white noise. I am that person people will hate. You know how like when when Jack Nicholson has a breakdown and almost kills his family because something was driving them nuts? Th this 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 will be that shining moment. This is going to be a uh, a cause of conflict as to what happened to me. It'll be because of this television that made well, my friends go crazy and do a Jack Torrance crazy thing. And uh, that's okay. I'll know I asked for it, but at least I got some sleep. Over here we have the bookshelf, which I have been very proud of for how much it has changed. It kind of has a little bit more of a unique display. I have all my mangas, which I have reduxed. I have cut down the best I possibly can for at least this week at most. We'll go with that for now. And one thing I like is that my comic books actually can be a part of the bookcase, which has never happened. They're usually in a in a box somewhere, but now it can share the fandoms, which is nice. And then over here, which is nice, is that the second media bookshelf is all nice and organized. We have television, we go down the line, and then we actually have anime over there. And then at the bottom, we have all the CDs, so now it's all nice and collected, and hopefully it stays that way for at least, uh, until next time. As we venture over here, which is another place that I record my videos, I have redone my workspace, which is amazing to be able to kind of have a place where I can be that person to go ahead and type at a desk instead of typing on my bed. So I can actually use my bed for this thing called sleeping. But I will take you guys through each and individual little thing right here because this is something that I personally really enjoy as a part of my room. The little thing, let me see if I can click it on just for you guys and and the Lord said, let there be light. Look at that shit. Oh my God. So with this, I really enjoy because I love taking Polaroid pictures. I am that weird nostalgic modern nerd that enjoys having to do Polaroid pictures more than I think anybody else. This is me and my bud Gabriel. And then uh, this here is something that happened kind of recently. I went out for New Year's for the first time in my life. And if you've ever watched the Drew Carey show, or at least no character named Mimi, which I'll put somewhere right there. Compare and contrast Mimi to me right there, and I'm telling you the resemblance is uncanny. Even my buddy Tim right there is questioning our friendship. These lovely ladies should be familiar because they are in a lot of my con vlogs, and this was taken on uh, one of the Beach Jays, and so they all put up with that. They are all troopers. They need like an award or something for how much they put up with that nerd. They're God sent. In the line here, I like to do artsy fartsy photos. And over here is another of my favorite humans. And this is taken at Fantasy Con. This is a bookmark she made for me because everyone knows I love this character and she knows it well. So that's why this is together because she knows me well. And then, hey, look, uh, that should be a very familiar face there. That's, a, that's a, a nerd that's not a hot mess for at least five minutes in that photo. This part, which is behind the Polaroids, that space right there, if y'all can see it behind my arm, that is a tribute I did for my grandmother. She was a very big part of my life, and when she passed away, there are some things I found of hers uh, that I still kept, and after I moved into my grandfather's house, a lot of her stuff was already on the shelf. So I took what I had, and I combined it with this one to make like a little mural of my grandmother. And I have a lot of really cool things here that... Um, she really liked. Uh, she was a big Beanie Baby fan, but these specific Beanie Babies is Princess Diana and a Daffodil Bear. And if we go behind here, you're going to see something really cool. This was her NASA plaque, and on the years it says that she worked from 1970 to 1995, and that 95 is a big year because 
Yours truly was born in that year. So this woman was like, Houston, peace out, gotta go. It is time to be a grandmother. Like I said, a part of me everywhere, and this is a big part of my life, which is my grandmother. So there you go. But this is the friend cubby. This is anything that my friends have given me, whether it's handmade gifts or things they bought for me. And I just kind of like to be able to showcase that for what they did for me. And I just kind of like to be able to kind of give a tribute to, well, my friends that do things for me. You know, it's, it's kind of nice. Over here, this is just kind of a, the not much really going on here. Important papers, whatnot, so I can kind of be a responsible adult. And it's all the serious stuff over here. So I got Felicity over here because, you know, there's a lot of hard work to be done over here and she does a lot of hard work so, you know, I gotta have a good lady in charge, you know. I like to think that that kind of works out for me. And then over here, this is a new little thing that I have established, which is taking the bookshelves and doing something very different with them. VHS tapes, I got everything here, and I'd be one of the last ones to ever use these ancient relics of nostalgia. And then I got books because occasionally I read normal books, you know, whenever that happens. And then over here is my favorite. It's a candy cubby that I have done recently, so in case I get a sweet tooth, I go over here. And then, hey, look, there's another writing cubby because that will eventually go over there on the other shelf. So this is a work in progress. So we got basically point A right here. And then this is very familiar. This is the con badge drawer. And then this is the button drawer. So in case I want to redecorate a purse or a jacket, I got the things to do that with. And then over here we have the bed, you know, where I get the... The good sleeping done whenever I get around to sleeping. One thing that is kind of funny that I have to establish though is that most people make their bed and then I'm the person that makes my bed and then sleeps on top of the made bed because I don't feel like making my bed and instead of actually laying out the blankets I do this stupid nerd thing where I just grab whatever I put on top of my pillows and then have over myself to just make myself into a burrito and then how I make my bed on top of my made bed is I just take the blanket and just toss it back up here and that's how that process goes every night. But the one thing that I do like too with the new style I've made my room because like I said before I have a fascination with space. I do a lot of stuff where I dress up as characters that are space princesses or space scouts or anything in general. If it's out of this world I'm definitely going to be down for it. So I've chosen like a bedspread that would have uh, a lot of zodiac themed things and space stuff as well as a new portrait up there that is a new picture that I picked out at Bed Bath and the Beyond. This is something that kind of matches with the bed. I've never really been one for things to match because no, but for a strange reason this just happened to match with my bed so well with it being the whole colors and it being space stuff so it kind of worked out. So for once in my life to be an adult that uh, that actually has some kind of flow and rhythm to have something at least match as sort of like the nerd stuff. This is the only thing that will ever make my grandfather happy in terms of me being a normal girl with having something that match and then everything else just uh is just not considered natural. This is going to be the only part of me where it just is going to look normal. Everything else is going to be the nerd creative chaos that it is. And of course, I have to bring this up because even though I have made a breakthrough, when I have gotten things looking pretty cool looking, some things just never change. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> and, uh, they really don't change because then I've had to venture out over here and now we've had to take over a table to put things on there because I am a royal mess and that one thing will never change. That was the room tour of 2019. It was kind of interesting to showcase a new way I have gone about in recreating my creative space and kind of having a little bit more, still going to be a mess, but at the same time it is my creative chaos, it is the way I live my life, and everyone has a certain way that they live their lives. A place in my room where I can still relax, but I can still work, and I can still do stuff without being so cluttered, and I kind of have some organization, and hopefully that lasts for at least a week. I'll give it a week at least, and then we'll see where it goes. Anyway, thank you so much, fellow nerds, for looking at the inside of how the humble abode goes and how much I like the space here, and at least not going to have someone else agree with how much I like the way it is and not have to have my grandfather peek in and go, Speaking of mess, I have to go take that mess I put in the shower to make this at least semi-pleasable and go take the mess off of the table and go put this in the chair where it belongs and then back on the bed where it belongs because it has to be the mess that it belongs to.
Thank you so much for watching my fellow nerds. And as always, you stay awesome, my fellow nerds. If you don't think that you're awesome, then I think you're awesome. And this is going to be your reminder. Okay? All right? Got it? Good. All right. We're good now. Anyway, you all take care now. Bye-bye! I'm going to ride this whole responsible adult thing for uh, as long as I can. Which won't last long, trust me. <clears throat> can't even function. Oh my god. Man, this H2O is good for you. I don't think it is.